developers here just in the past hour, just as we were getting off the air at 5 o'clock, the corporate office in Arkansas called me and said, hey, the store is ready to reopen. This parking lot filled up in a matter of no time. Walmart's closed? <laughs> Since when? They never close. Rosemary exactly, has a date right? tonight, and to she's out of cat food. I was just coming here to get a few things, and I can't believe they're closed. Crazy. That's surprising because Walmart never closes for anything. Disbelief rippled through the Seabrook parking lot Tuesday. Oh, it's not open. The snow banks are huge after back to back storms. So are the to do lists. The cupboards are bare. The bills need to be paid. I came to pay my car payment at Service Credit Union, but it looks like it's going to be a little bit late this month. Nothing amiss at the front of the store, but a peek around back reveals a team of shovelers on the roof hoisting snow onto a plastic tarp that's then dropped onto the parking lot via a crane. A worker tells News 9 the drifts are five feet high on the roof, and the crew has been trying to move the stuff for over four hours. The corporate office in Arkansas confirmed the decision not to open the Seabrook store Tuesday over roof structure safety concerns. Actually, I live in Byfield. I came a long way to come here. Jeez. You did? Yeah, I'm surprised it's closed. I was really surprised. Patrick worked in the store Monday delivering pizzas for 10 hours to housebound customers. Today, he's in pajama pants and slippers. What were you hoping to do here? Buy food. Buy food? Yeah. Maybe some snow boots. Well, I don't need snow boots if I'm going to Walmart. So the store here in Seabrook, less than a year old, but it's that flat roof that created those worries today. The store is open until 10 o'clock tonight. It reopens at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. For Live in Seabrook this evening, Amy Cavino, WMUR News 9.